Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some plays I like on prize picks for the week four Monday night football game between the Rams and the 49ers. Uh, this should be, be a pretty decent game on Monday night. Uh, right now, this game has a 42 and a half total. You know, not the highest total, but it does have a pretty close one and a half point spread. So we should get a close game here. Um, might be a little bit of a lower scoring game, but it should at least be a close one. And I got two picks I like on prize picks that I'm gonna, uh, that I'm going to share in this video. Uh, normally on these, you know, one game slates and we just have one primetime game. I normally don't give out more than two picks just because I don't want to just start, you know, giving out just a bunch of picks just because there's a game on. Um, I want to bet what I'm confident in. Um, so normally I try and find like the two plays that I feel the most confident in from what's on the board. Um, and we're going to talk about the two picks I like for this uh, Monday night game. Just before we do get started, guys, as always, please hit that like button down below if you do enjoy these prize videos. Hit that subscribe button as well if you have not yet. Uh, gonna be uploading these prospects videos all NFL season, uh, NFL season covering you know the Monday night games, Thursday night games, covering the full Sunday slate, and we do have NBA coming up soon. NBA regular season starts in about two weeks, and I'm gonna be uploading prospects video, uh, prospects videos for NBA as well, talking through some player props I like each day on NBA. And NBA is definitely a uh, it's my favorite sport, and I would say it's the sport that I've probably been the most successful in. Um, so you guys definitely should hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Also, if you are new to the channel and if you have not signed up for Prospects yet, Prospects actually is the sponsor of this video. You can check them out, link down below in the description, or when you sign up, make sure to use promo code NOAH. Uh, when you do sign up with my promo code, Prospects actually will match your first deposit up to $100. And you can take a look at all the props that Prospects has available for this Monday night game. Um, they offer a lot of props in a lot of different categories. They also offer a, a lot of props in d uh, different sports as well. And Prospects is a site where you can mix and match sports, you can make multi-sport entries, um, it's a lot of fun. You guys should definitely be playing over there and make sure that when you sign up, use that promo code, get that deposit bonus uh, when you do sign up. And lastly, real quick, before we talk through our plays for tonight, we can recap our plays from Sunday. Gave out three picks for the full Sunday slate. And Sunday wasn't a bad day, um, at least for our free picks. We went two and one, um, so we you know, hit two picks. We missed on one. The two picks that we did hit on were Austin Eckler took his over in fancy points and we took the over in fancy points for Jamal Williams in both both Eckler and Williams had massive games. I know Eckler had like three touchdowns, finished with like, I think over 30 fancy points, and we needed 17 from him. And then we took Jamal Williams to have more than 15 fancy points, and he had a massive game as well, had two touchdowns. I think he finished with close to 30 fancy points, I do believe. But unfortunately, the one play that, uh, that did not hit was Greg Dortch taking his over fantasy points. And I think that was definitely a mistake on my part. Um, that was probably a bad bet um, by me. I didn't really look... I didn't look enough into the situation with the Cardinals wide receivers. Uh, they did. Uh, Marquise Brown was active on Sunday, which I expect him to be active. Rondell Moore was also active. And I thought, you know, I thought even with Rondell Moore active, that would still mean a pretty decent role for, for Greg Dortch, especially with A.J. Green out. But Greg, Greg Dortch didn't play a ton. He, he didn't play on the same amount of snaps he had been playing on. He also didn't get a ton of targets. I think he was targeted just one time. He had one catch for six yards and obviously came up way short of his projection. So... I definitely regret the Dorch pick. Um, you know, had I known his lines would have dropped like that with with um, with Rondell Moore being active, I probably wouldn't have you know took took the took those bets because um, I know they actually bumped his receiving yard line way down and they took his fantasy score prop off the board. So that was definitely a bad bet on my part. But the other two picks luckily hit. Hopefully you guys were still able to make a little bit of money. I would definitely recommend on the days where I give out more than two picks that you either flex play. Or you mix and match the two pit, uh, the picks and do like different two pick entries, just so that way you know if we do get a pick wrong, you can still make some money if you mix and match or if you do a flex play. You don't have to get every pick right. Um, but yeah, guys, let's talk through the uh, the two picks I like for this Monday night game. We're gonna start off in the receiving yard prop and one receiving yard prop that I do like for tonight. I'm gonna be taking Debo Samuel to have more than 56 and a half receiving yards here. And I think this is a pretty good spot for Debo Samuel. He's going up against a Rams secondary that has actually kind of struggled to opposing wide receivers this season. When you look at on pro, uh, pro football reference in terms of you know receiving yards allowed to opposing wideouts, the Rams have actually allowed the third most receiving yards to uh, wide receivers this season. 667 receiving yards in terms of receptions allowed to, to wide receivers. They're actually tied for most in the league. Uh, the Rams and the Ravens have allowed 56, receiving, or 50, 56 receptions this season which is tied for most in the league. And in terms of targets, um, the Rams are allowing the fifth most targets to wide out. So this secondary has definitely been beatable. They do still have Jalen Ramsey, who is a really good corner. But Jalen Ramsey, I don't know if he's going to shadow Debo Samuel. I don't think Jalen uh, Ramsey has been shadowing as much this season. It, 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 even um, last season, I don't think he really did. He's kind of just been staying on one side of the field. So 
you know, Debo Samuel, if he can avoid Jalen Ramsey here, that's even better. Debo Samuel is a guy that the, the 49ers can move all around the field. He can play on the outside. He can play in the slot. He can line up as a running back. We've seen him get, you know, running back carries lately. So he's just a guy that has a ton of big play upside. He's always a threat to take a, take a screen play to the house. He is someone that doesn't run a ton of deep routes. Um, he's not going to run like, you know, deep vertical routes way down the field, but he has so much... Uh, you know, explosive ability after he catches the ball. Like he, his yards after catch, I know are really, really good. So he can take, he's a guy that can take like a seven yard slant to the house. Um, and he's done it, you know, before. Um, and I think this 56 and a half receiving yard line is one that he can definitely go over. He did go over it last week against Denver, came up just short against Seattle. And then week one against Chicago, I don't want to look too much into that game uh, against Chicago just because the weather was so bad in that game. It was a really low scoring, sloppy game. Both teams just ran the ball like a ton and, and both teams barely threw the ball. So, I think the volume's going to be there for Debo Samuel. He's been leading the team in target share this season. He's got a 28% target share, which you know is tight or is you know most on the team. Been getting a ton of opportunity. They've been using him in the running game, but he's still been getting targets as well. He eight targets last week, six targets week two, seven targets in week one. Even in that game where he only had 14 receiving yards, he still got targeted seven times. So we know he's going to get the opportunity. He's a guy that offers a lot of upside, um, a lot of big play upside. Even if he only you know, catches like four or five balls, he can you know, turn that into 70, 80 yards um, just because he's a guy that has so much explosive ability after the catch. And I know he's had a lot of success against the Rams as well, and I wanted to pull up his, uh, his game log against the Rams. So he's played the Rams last five games against the Rams, including playoffs. He's gone over 56 and a half receiving yards. He had four catches for 72 yards, four catches for 95 yards, five catches for 97 yards, 11 catches for 133 yards, and six catches for 66 yards. Those are his last five games against the Rams. Gone over this line in all five games. We've talked about, you know, the Rams secondary. They've been allowing a lot of receiving yards to opposing wideouts this season. I don't think Jalen Ramsey is going to shadow Debo Samuel, so I think the matchup's going to be good. Um, and I like this line at 56 and a half. I feel like this line could definitely be a little bit higher, um, especially with the volume that Debo Samuel gets. So that's going to be the first prop that we take for this uh, for this Monday night game. And then the, the pair that I like to go with it from the Rams side, we're actually going to be going to targets. And this is something that I like that you can actually bet on prize picks. I don't know if a lot of books offer this. I don't think many sports books allow you to bet like targets. But you can actually take whether a player is going to have more or less on a certain target projection. And they have Tyler Higby at five and a half targets. And I like going over on this one. I like taking Tyler Higby to have more than five and a half targets here. Tyler Higby has been really involved in this Rams offense so far this season. He's actually second on the team in target share. We should expect Cooper Cup to dominate the target share like he always does. I mean, Cooper Cup, you can see he's projected for almost 11 targets in this game. Cooper Cup has a 35% target share this season, which is towards the top of the league. But Tyler Higby is second on the team with a 23.67% or 23 target share. So far through their uh, three games this season, he has gone over this 5.5 target prop in uh, two out of three games. Uh, week one against the uh, week one against Buffalo, he had 11 targets. Week two against Atlanta, he had nine targets. Last week against Arizona, he only had four targets, um, but he's been playing a ton of snaps, so he's been on the field a ton. He's played over 90% of the snaps in all three of their games this year. He's going to be on the field for almost every single snap. He's going to be running routes as well, and he's kind of he's been the number two option for, for Matthew Stafford behind Cooper Cup. Um, we haven't really seen Allen Robinson do much this year. Allen Robinson has not been a consistent option for Matthew Stafford. He's not really been getting a ton of targets. Ben Skoranek's not really going to get a ton of opportunity. The Rams don't really throw the ball a ton to their running backs. So when Matthew Stafford isn't throwing the ball to Cooper Cup, I think he's going to be looking for Tyler Higby because he's kind of been their number two option. And I think Tyler Higby has a really good chance to come out of this game with you know at least six targets, um, something that he's done in two out of their three games this season. The one negative, I guess, is that um, the 49ers have been really solid against tight ends this season. They've actually kind of been the best team in the league defending the tight end position. But the 49ers have also faced you know, some, bad deep, or some bad teams and some teams that don't really use their tight end much. So they've had to face the Bears, a team that you know, doesn't really use their tight end much. Plus, that, that week one game against the Bears was you know, super sloppy, low scoring, weather was terrible. They had to face the Seahawks, another team that doesn't really use their tight end much. And then they had to face the Broncos, another team that hasn't been using their tight end much. So they really haven't faced like a good tight end and a good offense yet that involves their tight end. Obviously, you know, Tyler Higby is going to be involved in this offense. He's going to be on the field a ton. And again, I like his chances to get six targets here. Um, you would think the 49ers are going to do whatever they can to stop Cooper Cup. It hasn't really worked. I mean, Cooper Cup has torched the 49ers just when they face lately. 
But maybe if the, the 49ers try, try to like double team Cooper Cup or something like that, that could even mean more opportunity going to Tyler Higby. So that's going to be the second play that I like for today to pair with our Debo Samuel prop. Um, taking Debo Samuel to have more than 56 and a half receiving yards and ta- taking Tyler Higby to have more than five and a half targets. Um, again, targets are available on prize picks. Don't know if any other sports books or any other sites offer targets, but you can bet that on prize picks. And again, if you guys are not playing on prize picks yet, Make sure to sign up with promo code NOLA. You do get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you sign up with my promo code. And if you want to tail the two picks I give out in this video, you can do so. You can take a look at their board and make some picks for yourself. Price Picks already has a ton of props up for this Monday night game, and they might even add more props as we get closer to the start of the game, get closer to kickoff. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate your support as always. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Um, and, and you know, as always, guys, again, if you have not signed up for prospects yet, use that promo code NOLA. Get your first deposit matched up to $100. But best of luck tonight, guys. Hope you guys all win your bets. Hope you guys make a little bit of money. Um, and, and, yeah, let's try, and, uh, let's try and cash out on these two plays, make a little bit of money tonight. Wish you guys the best of luck. We'll see you in the next one.